Hello, everyone. Hope you had a great 4th of July weekend. We'll start our Monday off with some new trivia. Uh, before I get into that, though, I'm going to tell you a joke that probably won't be able to be told for too much longer the way things are going in our nation. But anyway, it's a classic brunette blonde, uh, blonde type joke. A brunette asked a blonde, uh, where were you born? The blonde said, the United States. Well, the brunette, uh, the brunette asked, which part? And the blonde said, well, my whole body, of course. <laughs> oh, I'd call this next one a Cracker Jack box type joke, or I don't know, maybe a Laffy Taffy. Why did the fish blush? Because it's all the ocean's bottom. <laughs> all right, let's get to our let's get to our questions. Trivia questions are going to be ten that are worth a point apiece, and then there's a couple of bonus questions that are worth three points apiece. Those are optional. You have a total of sixteen points you can make. So let's begin. After King Asa of Judah had been victorious over the, over the Ethiopians, what country took a stance against Judah? Was it Egypt, Israel, or Macedonia? Second Chronicles 16, verse number one, tells us that the answer is Israel. Number two, who became king of Judah after the death of Asa? Was it Jehoshaphat, Joash, or Jehoram? Second Chronicles 17, verse 1, reveals the answer is Jehoshaphat. Number three, Jehoshaphat sent his officials throughout the kingdom with the book of the law, teaching people about what? Legal matters? land issues, or God. Second Chronicles 17, verses 7 through 9, says the answer is God. Number four, with whom did, Jeho <laughs> with whom did Jehoshaphat form a marriage alliance? Was it Jehu, Ahab, or Amri? Second Chronicles 18, verse 1, says it was Ahab. Number five, over which nation did King Ahab rule? Was it Babylon, Arabia, or Israel? Second Chronicles 18 and verse number three tells us that it was Israel. Now here's our bonus question. Remember, you don't get any help, but it's always related to that question I just asked. Who was Ahab's wife? I bet a lot of people are going to get this right. Who was Ahab's wife? First Kings 16 verse 31 tells us that it was Jezebel. All right. Let's move on to our next set of questions. Number one, as the kingdom of Israel was struggling under Jeroboam, where had Rehoboam made his home? Was it Ramah, Hebron, or Jerusalem? Second Chronicles 11 verse five tells us that it was Jerusalem. Number two, what did Rehoboam do to strengthen the kingdom of Judah? Imported slaves, killed all foreigners, or built fortified cities? Second Chronicles 11 verses 5 through 12 tells us the answer is built fortified cities. Number three, who had left Jeroboam and the kingdom of Israel to join the kingdom of Judah? Was it the Levites, the Danites, or the Reubenites? The answer to the question is found in Second Chronicles 11 verse 14, and it is the Levites. Number four, why did the Levites and others leave Jeroboam and the kingdom of Israel to join the kingdom of Judah? Jerusalem was home, Jeroboam was cruel, or idolatry? Second Chronicles 11, verses 14 through 16. Let's just know, unfortunately, the answer is idolatry. Number five, how many years did Rehoboam lead the people of Judah in the way of God? Was it five, three, or four? Second Chronicles 11, verse 17, tells us that the answer is three. And here's the bonus question to go along with this. How many wives did Rehoboam have? How many wives did Rehoboam have? Second Chronicles 11, verse 21, tells us that the answer was 18. I can tell you, some of those were easy, not very many of them. Most of them were hard, so if you got all of those right, I would be very impressed. I don't think I could have even come close to getting all of those right, but hopefully you did pretty well. See you next time.